So what we have here is an Epiphone Tom DeLong ES333. And this is a semi-hollow body. It's got that big GT stripe right down the middle of it. It's got a Dirty Fingers humbucker, which is a great pickup, I think. And this one is in excellent shape. Okay, I'm just gonna measure the relief in the neck. I, I sighted down the neck already and it looks like it has a little relief, but I'm not sure how much. So I've got the capo on the first fret and a lot of guitars, the neck meets the body around the 17th fret. This one looks a little higher up, like the 19th fret it looks like. So I'm just gonna fret there on the 19th and then I'll measure halfway in between um, that first fret and the 19th with a feeler gauge and it's somewhere right on these two frets the 9th and the 10th I guess so it looks like it measures just about 0 0.006 relief and that's actually um, the place I like to start at it's a pretty nice flat neck just check the action real quick with the action ruler at the 12th fret and it's just about 0 0.060 which is a great place to be too so this guitar sometimes I get guitars that somebody actually may have just recently set up and I have no way of knowing this may have just been uh, set up by somebody not too long ago So playing down the low frets, it's uh, sounding good, no buzzing. Middle frets, sounds pretty good. Just working my way up the neck, it's sounding good. This thing's pretty decent shape. The real test is checking the intonation. And then you really know if it was just set up recently. If the intonation's close or spot on. Just tuning the high E string open. It's a little sharp at the 12th fret. B string, that one's dead on. So this guitar has been set up not too recently. The G is just about on. So I'll go through and just fine tune the intonation here. And this Epiphone DeLong has some screws that are pointing toward the neck, uh, the head side on this one. So we'll be putting the screwdriver in this way to set that intonation. So that high E, like I said, just a little sharp. Yeah, sharp at the 12th. So I want to move the saddle back which in this case means loosening that screw. Nice. Uh, the B and the G were good. The D is just slightly sharp also. And I think I've got the intonation about right. I like to play just a few intervals I'm used to. Playing some triads is a good little test uh, up and down the neck. Good. Why is 
that sound slightly off. Pretty easy setup. Action's all good, playing good all over the neck, and good idea to plug in. See if that pickup sounded good. to bend all over the neck. Just make sure everything's ringing. And I would say it's a good idea if you're setting up your own guitar to write down some of the settings that you did on the setup because you know six months a year later when you go to set it up again you may want to just copy where you had it uh, for instance this time we've got the string height at 0 0.060 at the 12th fret neck relief is measuring 0 0.006 at the 9th 